Hi and welcome to Content Buddy. In this video I'm going to show you how to save a campaign and why you might want to save a, ca a campaign inside Content Buddy. So here we are inside a post and we this I used this in a previous example but let's say that in, in this example actually we were searching for AdWords is what we were searching for and we did a, a various uh, searches associated with it. We did some content, we did some Twitter, some images and so forth. But let's say that we're we pretty consistently search for AdWords related content. Well we might actually want to save this ca campaign. So if we click here save it'll pre-populate with the ID for the post that we're on but we might want to save it for uh, best uh, ad, let's just call it, uh, I think I have another AdWords campaign created so we'll just call this best AdWords campaign just so you can see when it's saved in a second so and if you look at this so we've saved our we're, we're setting this up so we can pick this from a drop down menu at a later time so if we click save right here it's actually going to save this campaign right best AdWords campaign okay so if we come back over here to campaigns you'll see that we have best AdWords campaign created here and you, and you can do several different things inside these campaign the campaign section so if we click here on arts and entertainment uh, for an example this was another campaign I had set up so arts and entertainment you can see here I, I use this word right here because it happened to be the very first article in the, in the RSS feed but if you notice here when you click on the campaigns there's all the various content sources that we have at this point in time uh, added. There'll be more added later, but these are the ones that are currently loaded. And in this one, I hear the only one I have checked is the RSS feed. And you can see that I actually selected from the RSS groups that I had uh, previously added in the RSS section. So you're, the idea being that you can create a campaign of what your kind of most common searches are. So if you want a campaign with nothing but red uh, red cats uh, from Google Images, you could create that as a campaign. Or uh, if you want one uh, specific for a type of Mustang video, you know, maybe it's a Mustang videos or a certain year Mustang. Well, you could create that in your uh, in your campaigns. And you could also set kind of the criteria in which you want to be able to reuse the content because some content is actually labeled for reuse. Um, and so you want to make sure that you are aware of the various types of content filtering that is out there but the idea behind a campaign is that you can set it up for common searches so that when you're over here uh, in the actual uh, post where you're looking to pull in content you don't have to act you don't have to go and search for and the and recreate the campaign and the set the source settings which is what we were just showing you the licensing behind it you don't have to go through and redo this every time. If if you always search for red cats, you can just create it once and then just pick it from a drop down menu and hit go and then you'll be able to just pull and drag and drop it over. So I hope you understand a little bit more about the campaigns, how you might use them. You'll find them on the campaigns tab. In another video I'll show you the RSS groups, but you'll you can set up campaigns on the campaigns tab and it'll really help you speed up the process it's already pretty fast it'll really help you speed up the process that you go through to locate your content so I hope you enjoyed this video on setting up campaigns inside content buddy